Anthony Davis was ruled out of a pivotal matchup against the Golden State Warriors due to a left eye injury after his eye swelled shut as a result of an injury sustained here on this play. Welcome back everybody, I'm Dr. Brian Suter and my goal on the channel is to help teach you about the medical side of the sports world. Now we're going to dive into what happened here tonight with Anthony Davis because of course Lakers Nation is going to be very worried about him, especially given his injury history. So this eye injury, should we be concerned what really happened? The official word is the Lakers are calling this a corneal abrasion. We've also seen eye contusion, but corneal abrasion would be a much more appropriate diagnosis that would fit with what we saw happen. So cornea is a part of the eye that we'll talk about and an abrasion is a scrape, it's a scratch. So there's essentially a scrape scratch in the front portion of Davis's eye called the cornea. As he goes up here on the play where this occurred, basically what happens is the forearm skin of the Warriors player just swipes him across the front of the eye. So in most ideal situations here, the way the eye, the orbit is structured, the bones of the orbital socket protrude forward to where if you just put your hand across your face, you can hit kind of the front of your face there and not actually injure the globe, injure the eye. We also have, of course, the eyelid that is there to help protect the eye itself. So any sort of impact that comes in across the front of the face, the goal is that the bones are gonna be there to initially take the brunt of the impact and then the lid is gonna be there to hopefully be closed to avoid any sort of foreign object or foreign body scraping across the front of the cornea. In this case with Davis, either the arm skin actually might have even lifted the lid out of the way, but the arm kind of coming down, you even see how the contour of the skin changes there, swiping across the face of Davis caused the skin of the arm to rub across the front of his cornea, tearing his cornea. And then it was pretty clear as Davis was trying to walk off the court here that his eye was fairly swollen and he was almost certainly having difficulty seeing. Looking at our biodigital anatomy tool here, we have a model of the human eye, also referred to as the orbit. So we've cut through the eye here, right straight down the middle, and let's talk about the different structures. So the white of the eye is called the sclera. When you look straight on that white part, that's the sclera. There's going to be little blood vessels that depending on if you have some trauma to the eye, those blood vessels might be more prominent or actually have some bleeding. The color part of your eye is the iris. And then the front of the eye is the cornea. So if we zoom in here, the cornea is actually a layer of cells. So just like we have cells on our skin, cells on our muscles, our bones, the cornea is composed of cells. But these cells are transparent to allow light to pass through the cornea through the pupil into the back of the eye and then ultimately hit the retina in the back of the eye to then transmit the light signals to the brain through the optic nerve. But that cornea is there to, it provides a little bit of sort of bending modification of the light image as it comes through, but it's mainly there as a little bit of a protective barrier to the front of our eye. The outermost layer of that cornea is what gets scraped or scratched and those cells actually get chopped off, so to speak, whenever somebody has a corneal abrasion. That then exposes the underlying cells, it can be really painful, and your eye just instinctively reacts by tearing up. You have this tendency to wanna to keep your eye closed shut, and then you can get this resultant swelling around the eye as well. So this is an actual trauma tearing of the cells in the front of that eye, that clear layer called the cornea, that's a corneal abrasion. There are some fancy ways you can diagnose this 100%. You can put some dye into the eye and then you put a specific type of lamp that you shine, a UV lamp, and if that dye sort of shows up bright green, that tells you where the tear is located, but oftentimes you don't need to do that to say someone's had a corneal abrasion. Another nice pro tip if you're covering an event and you're trying to figure out if somebody with an eye injury has a simple corneal abrasion or a deeper injury to the actual orbit, like a retrobulbar hemorrhage or some injury, inside the eye itself, you can put some eye drops that are anesthetic, so numbing eye drops onto the front of the eye. If the pain goes away, that tells you it's right there on the cornea, it's a corneal abrasion. If the pain doesn't go away, then that is not a corneal abrasion. You have to be concerned that there is an injury further back, deeper in the eye. I don't expect Davis is gonna miss much time, honestly, if any. Most corneal abrasions will heal up and respond within one to three days. And so this is not something that I would expect him to miss potentially even any amount of time, unless he had some sort of complication, which would be very unusual. To treat these, you're occasionally gonna use numbing medicine or drops in the eye to help with the pain. Sometimes doctors will put people on antibiotics, even though it's not necessarily 100% recommended or encouraged all the time. You sometimes will use antibiotics. There might be a role here if Davis wears contact lenses, you're typically not gonna wear the contact lens until that abrasion has healed over, so we might see some different eyewear for Davis if he wears contact lenses. But overall, I would not expect this to be any sort of a long absence, if any, for Anthony Davis. Thankfully, it sounds like he avoided more serious injury to the eye itself, 
Corneal abrasion sounds pretty scary, can be very painful, but should heal up within just one to three days. That's it for the video, everybody. Let me know as always any questions or comments down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.